morning everyone how are you guys doing before you comment down below saying you started your morning when it's not the morning blah 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 it is actually the morning so ha huh. i was when i started these daily vlogs like the whole sort of thinking behind it was i want you guys to live my daily life and see what i do every day um the only thing is you guys obviously love supercars and supercars aren't always part of my daily life the actual truth of it is that the car that i drive the most during the summer is this the Renault Twizy and we're gonna get to that in a second but yeah so I've been doing these daily vlogs they become a bit less daily vloggy when I do something interesting um, I will obviously vlog it and I'll vlog the day but like today for example woke up been doing emails um, been setting up a few different projects I'm working on and things like that so nothing I could really daily vlog so I figured I'm gonna talk to you about why and the reasons that the Twizy is so good and why I sort of use it every day while I'm here in Monaco during the summer. So the McCann's back now as well. Uh, and then there's a friend Smart and a Scooter. But anyways, I am going to take the Twizy out and I'm gonna to talk to you why, when you live in a city and somewhere like Monaco where it's sunny, why it's probably the best summer city car. And here she is, my Renault Twizy. The little cheeky, oh look it's still got that bug I showed you the other day on the front. The little cheeky, well bug effectively, that brings me around town during the summer. We should actually find a name for the Twizy. What could, Tessa the Twizy, that could work, TNT, Tessa the Twizy. I'm going to walk you through a few of the um, aesthetic things on this car because I haven't done a video on it for ages. Walk you through how it works and then tell you why it's such a good city car. So as you can see, clearly the first thing is it's absolutely tiny. It's actually registered as a quadricycle, not a car. Obviously it can't be a bike because it's got four wheels, but it's not quite big enough to be a car. It's got those awesome scissor doors that you can lift up, which is really, really cool. And you open them by just leaning in here and grabbing the handle. And you can also have windows, which I have got in the garage right there currently. Um, but I, during the summer, I just take the windows off and you can kind of put your arms out both sides while you're driving. Uh, obviously, try and keep one on the steering wheel at all times, but it's kind of practical that and it's a really really cool feeling when you're in your central driving position and you've got sort of the air flowing from both sides. Um, then this particular one has like these sport rims, whatever, gone like full black. You can get this sort of surrounding bit in a different contrasting colour, but I thought it was all nice and all black. Um, and then all black interior here as well. So pretty cool, got the sunroof, because that's essential when you're in the back, you don't want to get too claustrophobic. Got the uh, Bluetooth sound system, the two speakers there, that's really useful for when you're on the phone. And different things, apart from that, the options really are doors, windows, and everything that I've just listed. Uh, you do also have, lots of people often ask me this, there's a boot in the Twizy. So you do have a little boot back here which you can pull out and then it kind of goes quite deep I don't know if there's anything in there still but it goes quite deep and you can actually not many people know this if I take that out you can then grab this piece uh, like that and then do that and then you can actually turn it around to have it facing the other way so then it's basically like this big boot that you can lock so that's kind of cool i don't know if the camera was pointing in the right direction when i was doing that but there you go there's the boot of the twizy which you can have um and electric engine i'm not sure quite the power but you can have the twizy 45 and the twizy 80 i don't know if that stands for like kilowatt power or whatever anyways long story short it's not that fast this is the twizy 80 so it's the biggest engine one um you can then lift up you have your charger here and your windscreen washer fluid right there um, it takes about an hour and a half, two hours to charge, and they say you can get about 80 kilometers from a charge. Uh, I don't, I don't find that. I find it's more like 40, if that even. Depending on your driving here, it's obviously really challenging because every time I drive it, it's basically down into town and it's down and back up the hill, so it's not easy. Lots of corners and stuff, but um, it is so so practical. So let's hop in take it for a spin and I'll tell you about why this car is the perfect summer city car. The question today then is what makes the Twizy so good as a car for the city in warm weather? Well first of all obviously the airiness of it. You can literally see everything around you. You have this sunroof there which means that you can 
I mean, basically, it's like you've got no car around. You can see everything, 360 degree view. Don't have a rear view mirror here, but I've got the two side view mirrors, and they offer plenty of um, vision around, let's say. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, obviously, it's just so usable. With it being so small, you can wiggle your way through traffic, uh, and you can basically park it anywhere which is fantastic I mean and especially in Monaco there are all these laws and there are in most countries actually because it's fully electric that allow you to park so in parkings there are electric spots so that means that every parking will always find a parking space there are um, parkings on the street and you don't need to pay for parking on the street which is a lovely obviously because it means that you then spend a lot less on your parking so that's another plus side of the Renault Twizy um, then with it being electric, obviously there are running costs, which are fantastic. I mean, if I drive this every day, which I do, I don't really spend any money on fuel. And it costs about, what, like 2, 3 euros to recharge the whole car, and so nothing compared to a tank of fuel, which is like 60 euros usually. So that makes a big difference. It's quick as well. For these little roads, if you're going downhill, downhill or uphill, and the amount of people you have in the car do make a big difference, but you can hit 85 kilometers an hour for around town. That is plenty. You don't need to go any faster. The brakes are pretty good, and then also the batteries are under the seat, the driver's seat, so the center of gravity is actually surprisingly low. So you can take corners at speed, and people think the car will flip, but actually, it grips quite badly. I didn't mean badly there. I wasn't thinking I meant well. It grips quite well. Obviously you get a bunch of understeer and rain can be tricky but like you can come into corners breaking pretty late and it will still make it round no problem. So that makes it a really good city car because you can nip around without having to worry about oh am I gonna tip over or oh, my brakes gonna fail yeah don't have enough all that stuff you don't need to worry about. You've got a sound system, which is amazing, so you can go around blasting your tunes, everyone will hear your tunes, but you can't blast them, it's just up to you whether you want everyone to hear you playing Britney Spears at 12 o'clock at night by yourself or not. Hmm? It seems the road has come to an end, because there's been a huge rock fall right there ahead, so I am going to have to turn around. That was unexpected. And head back up this road. Ooh, up we go uphill. So now you're gonna see what it's like to drive this car uphill. It's not quite as much fun because you don't quite have the power coming out of corners. For example, here we've got a little hairpin. Spin the wheels and then come on, come on, come on. So yeah, about 85 kilometers an hour is the full speed. Um, different things also that make this good in town. Uh, I mean, the main one is the parking, but then also you can just charge them in town, so it means that you always sort of have battery, you don't need to worry about the battery too much, and if you're not driving long distances and you're being careful, you can hold this battery for about 40 kilometers, which in a place like Monaco, which is only two, kilo two square kilometers in size, that means it'll hold its battery fairly long. When it uses quite a bit of battery when you're driving up and down these hills like I am right now. So that's not ideal. But if you're literally just living in a city, okay. What's not so good though is winter time because it does get very cold driving this. You do have windows where there are still huge holes. If it rains, the water does come in once in a while. And so you don't really feel like taking it out if it's not a perfectly really nice sunny day. So there is that. It is quite weather dependent. But apart from that, I mean, I literally think this is the best car you could own if you only do city driving and don't need to take two people all the time and don't need a big kit. Uh, it's got these big storage areas on the side here, which we use to uh, put shopping sometimes. And yeah, I mean, it's so simple as well. It's an automatic, well, it's not even an automatic because there aren't any gears. So it's just accelerator, brake, no power steering, don't need it to be honest, the car doesn't weigh anything, so you can just nip along and as soon as you're doing over like 10 kilometers an hour, it's perfectly light and look, I can turn it with one finger, so that's not a problem at all. I mean, Renault Twizy, for me, if you live in a city where it's decent weather, this is a must-have. They're expensive, but not crazy if you think about it. And one thing you do also have to do, 
because electric that's the main problem with electric cars is the price because the technology is so new the price is very expensive but right now i've come up with a smart way of dealing with that where they charge you for the car itself so let's say nine ten thousand euros you then get 30 percent off from the government at least in monaco because you're driving the electric car and they want to entice people to drive electric cars but then they haven't made you pay for the battery so what you do is you pay 50 euros a month to Renault to rent the battery and that then means that if you want to and an upgrade arrives you can then just upgrade the, the battery so yeah those are a few of the reasons why I love the Renault Twizy different from a daily vlog but a really fun video nonetheless I hope uh, and I really enjoyed making it. I'll be back with daily vlogs soon. I think I might be filming later tonight. I've uh, this actually happened this morning, and you're watching it at six o'clock this evening. Hopefully, if I upload it in time. Um, so this is really, really as live as it gets. But hopefully tonight I'm going to meet up with a friend and go to his car. Might go to Hong Kong, but I'm not too sure. So we'll see. Some exciting videos on the way. But now you know a little bit more about the Renault Twizy why I love this thing so much. If you aren't already, please remember to subscribe as per usual and I will see you very soon. Thanks again guys. Ciao. Bye.